What's up fellas? Welcome to the garage. Well, it's another sunny day and I'm back with the transit. Today I will be removing the engine and the gearbox. First I will remove all the wiring, all the hoses, throttle linkage and uh, clutch linkage. Then I'll attempt to remove the gearbox and then the engine. We'll see how that goes. First, I'll be removing the exhaust. I'm sure these will snap right off. Nice. The sun is shining straight into my face. There we go. I actually think this is a piece of fire hose. Genius. What a mess.
no need for crimping just solder yourself whatever shape you like old school for window washing fluid I first planned to separate the engine and the gearbox since I couldn't drop them bolted together down because of this cross member here. But I think that front grille should be removable. So when I remove it, I will be able to pull the engine and the gearbox bolted together this way out of the van. I'm pretty sure that front grille is removable in original form but i guess when they uh, painted this van the second time they just uh, put some sealant and painted all over so there's no visible gap now i'll unbolt the light covers and see what's back there so uh, i can get all this panel removed <laughs> These bolts here are kind of stubborn, all rusted. So I'll, I'll show you a simple trick that usually helps getting them out. Now we got plenty of room.
Now I know what you're thinking. The guy looks pretty strong, but there's no way he would be able to pull the engine and the gearbox out by himself. And you'd be correct. That's why I'll have a friend of mine help me. His name is Tomo. Tomo Vinkovic. Alright, so now the engine is secured, now I'll try to unbolt the gearbox mount and we'll see what happens. We do have some uh, clearance issues right now, so we'll have to pull the engine to the front a bit, so we don't damage anything. Okay, looking good at the moment. But we have to we have to take notice of the shifting lever. Damn, this uh, stick sure is long. It would be great if we could remove it. Then it would be really easy. The gearbox seems to be full of water or something. We had a ground wire connected to the engine all this time. No wonder the engine doesn't want to go out. Why didn't you tell me? I have to pull the lever off. There's no way around it. Yeah, Ben Tiboga. <clears throat> well, there we go. I made a big mess. But at least now we should be able to pull the engine and gearbox out. Whew.
All right, we finally did it. The engine and the gearbox are out. It didn't go without problems. It's safe to say that we'll be putting it in with the gear lever off. That's for sure. I managed to damage this cross member a bit, but no worries, nothing serious. It's just sheet metal, you know, and we'll be painting it anyways. I made a little mess here, but uh, you know, what you're gonna do? Let's call that a success. The engine and the gearbox are out and we can tow this van to storage. That's it for this one. If you like this kind of content, make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Be good. Oh, 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 oh,